Okay, so there are many card games, physical, digital, and people are always arguing that the digital ones are more pay to win. For instance, Nightbanes. People keep saying like, oh, you can buy really powerful cards, like six attack cards, just straight out in the store for premium currency. Yeah, if there was a physical version of the game, like when Pokemon first came out, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or any card game, if you can go to a shop and buy physical cards that you hold in your hand, and then play with other people in real life, you can buy, within like a week or so, any card, as long as it's been printed and is out there, you can pretty much buy any card in existence for that card game for real cash. You could plan out an entire deck and then buy every single one of those cards individually. Sure, it would cost you a fortune, but it can be done. As it stands in Nightbanes and any other digital card game that I'm aware, you can't buy any and every card outright. It's like, hey, we have these few available for this week, and then next week we have these ones. And you can pick which ones you want to buy, if any, or not buy them, and just buy boosters and see if you get them that way. Even if the digital version of a card game did say, here is every card in the game, you can buy each one. This one will be £3, this one will cost you 15 You can buy as many as you want at £15 a time or £30 a time. But here, just keep clicking buy. Click buy, buy 100 of these £30 cards. You could do that in real life if they had a physical version of cards to buy. There are no more pay to win in the digital version than they are if it was real. It... People seem to forget or haven't played a real card game. It's much more easier in most cases. Like I say, the digital stores don't allow you to buy every card in existence for that game. Whereas online you can go to eBay... Amazon, your local card store, you can go to many stores. I know stores now where I can buy Pokemon cards individually from all of the expansions. I can buy any Pokemon card I want. I could plan out a deck. I could go online and easily buy any and every card I ever wanted and build my deck there. And even if I did build the most powerful and like most planned out Uber deck that was strategically designed to beat every single starter deck that anyone could play, you could still technically lose, you could get shit draw, you could like not get the cards you want, you don't get the decent combination, you don't get the good combinations, the combinations you need, and you can still get defeated by the other guy. Sure, it will be harder to lose, even if you do get bad draw, but if you were to build yourself a deck of the most uber, most powerful cards, especially in Nightbanes, you're talking about cards that take three, four, maybe even five turns, I'm not sure, I know there's ones that take four turns at least, before they can be activated. So you play that card. And then you have to wait four turns before that card can do anything. The other guy can just keep playing instant play cards. There are skellies that do that. Skellingtons that can attack instantly. Or have one turn cards. And then kill that card before it's ready to play. Sure you could stack up a load. So eventually you'd get one of them out. But again. By then he would have hit your character. He would have done damage to you. Just like in say. Oh what's it called. The one by Blizz. Um, Hearthstone. In Hearthstone, you have your character who has HP when they're not attacking the cards, or they can sometimes hit you directly, the player. Same in Nightbanes. So if you play a shitload of, like, four-turn cards that can't do nothing until four turns are over, they have cards that they can plan out a load of one-turn cards, and then loads of them can hit you in the face, and you'll lose that way. So even that most uber-powerful deck that you've built is still going to lose. I don't see the argument that digital versions are paid to win. As I say, it's easier and probably much more readily available to buy any card you want for a card game if there was a physical version. As it stands, Nightbanes, I believe, is only digital. But then, as I say, you can't buy every single card straight out for cash you can buy boosters and hope you get it or every week or however often it is they do it you have the option to buy one of the one or more of these cards and the next week they rotate and they become a different set that you can buy so that's something to think on and if you've played card games before you'll know that and you'll know that just because you have the best deck you've still got rng that can screw you over and you can still lose so night banes is coming the video is on its way i just thought i'd get this out now because the number of people in the comments on the Steam page for it saying, oh, pay to win, pay to win, pay to win. So is any card game.
and then you've got the RNG. Can't stress that enough. You can buy all the cards, and you can still get fucked by the RNG. So, it's just frustrating. People obviously haven't played card games in real life, or even if they have, they haven't gone too in-depth with them, or they played them when they were younger, so they were just for fun, and they didn't take them seriously. Or, I don't know, maybe just because it's digital, people aren't comfortable. But card games are the one thing where I think, even if you could buy every single card that existed in a game for some amount of cash, just straight up, I don't care. Because you can do that in real life if the card game has a physical version. And we're just going round and round in circles here. Again and again, same thing. Physical version, buy any card. Digital version, oh, you can buy any card. Who cares? You can do it for both. So... Yeah, thank you for watching, and I shall see you with another video. Night Banes is coming next, and then Fantarook, it's on its way. Fantarook, I promise. So, see you all again. Miss out.